two. Fight, fight. And we're back at it again, ninjas. And uh, what's about to happen here, Pizza? Tell us. Well, if you look at that spindle. Look at uh, that spindle. Somebody calls you a movie for it. Every time. It got all marred up right here. So what we're gonna do is truck and trailer has such great, such great customer service. Yes, they do. We're gonna back it into their bay and their mechanic's gonna file down our spindle for us. Yes. So we can get a new hub assembly and put it back together and hopefully get back on the road. And guys, this was not scheduled. This was not by appointment. It just kind of like, do it right now. I, we got you covered. Dude, this place is awesome. So let's see how this is gonna, don't forget the, if it's gonna drop to the ground. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Definitely yeah. close to the ground. Are we on three wheels? Yep. We're on three wheels. Yep. Close to the ground, but it trailer can move. Huh? Huh, buddy? Grab that hammer. <laughs> Thought uh, that'd be good for you to witness. All right. I'm about to take this trailer in, and uh, I'll show you uh, what goes on next. Here you go guys, we can travel on three wheels. You can tell how close to the ground we are right there. Normally if you're gonna do this for a long haul down the road, you know, the main road or anything, you're gonna wanna chain that axle up. But uh, we're just backing it into this bay right here. All right, ninjas, we're gonna get off of here, get him backed in, hopefully get this fixed back on the road. What's going on, my lawn care ninjas? Okay, <clears throat> let me talk about what happened today. Did not get to record a whole lot. Really anything, except a little bit of truck and trailer. That place is awesome. Customer service at its point, at, at its best. What happened is uh, my wheel started to wobble more and we were originally planning to stop there anyway to get the parts, right? And when we pulled up, I'm real good with one of the customer service up front desk guys and he came out and looked at it. He said, man, we gotta, you know, we gotta take this off and look right now. And I'm like, whoa, really? He's like, dude, this is a bit terrible. Long story short, man, no appointment, no nothing. They got me in freaking awesome they replaced everything i bought brand new rims and tires in the back i'll show you uh i don't know if you remember my, my rear wheels and tires were actually a different size than the front ones i finally bought the right one so now all four are even uh the trailer is fixed it's done brand new hub everything uh bearings everything so it's a wrap it's a wrap but on the downside we didn't get anything done today very little if any i don't even know me and pizza got a little bit this morning before buddy joined us he had he came in a little later he had some stuff going on and then that was it we we, we were stuck there the whole day or the rest of the day i should say so you're gonna have your good days and bad days what i want to turn this video into a couple of things i want to show you of course i want to show you the trailer when i get out um i want to show you the vehicle that i'm giving away i still got to take it to mickey's it's just guys it seems like it's one after another it's always something but um i will show you the car what kind it is and all that stuff just a little bit you know i'll go in more into depth as we get closer for the giveaway but i want to just kind of walk around and show you what it is anyway uh but really what i want to talk about is you're gonna have your good days and you're gonna have your bad days and sometimes it feels like the bad days come at its worst time when you are already having a bad day or something else so I've mentioned this before in my earlier videos, but I know, you know, I've gotten a lot of people and a lot of subscribers following. So, you know, a lot of people probably haven't gone back and watched some of the older videos and that's fine. But uh, I have always said this even before YouTube and I've said it when I started YouTube, but 
What kind of business owner defines you not by what happens to you, but by how you handle what happens to you? And so, you know, a lot of people can't handle the stress, the pressure, the, oh, I'm behind. I got employees to deal with or worry about, right? Make sure they got work. Make sure you give them the hours. Customers, you got to make sure they're happy. And then, of course, your own personal life and your own personal. And then when all the, you know, maintenance stuff happens and stuff breaks down on you, whether it's a trailer or a mower or a truck, that's really when it tests you what kind of business owner you are and what kind of individual you are. So, you know, if you can stick through it and get through it, don't let it get to you. See, Sunday we finally caught up from last week, all that bad weather from that hurricane. Bam, first day in the new week, Monday, I'm behind. You know, and uh, when I should be completely the opposite. We should have finished around this time and gotten everything. But that's just what it is. And, you know... If you can get through it, through the tough times, the good times will come. And if you're struggling out there, don't give up. Don't give up. Because it's not, the bad days are not always there. They, I, I always say the bad days and the stress days and the behind and if the something, it's like a test. It's there to test you, to make sure that you're still on top of your game. So, you know, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. Didn't obviously, you know, we didn't mow much. I didn't record anything. Um, but I'll show you the car. I'll show you the trailer. It's fixed, brand new, both rims and tires. The uh, the bearing, the spindle, everything is taken care of. We damaged a little bit the spindle from beating everything, me and pizza. So they had to like for a good solid 30 40 50 minutes whatever was grind or just i guess it's it's i say it grinding but i don't think they were grinding they were smoothing out with the machine and you know for a good solid 30 40 minutes at least if not more so that's it guys um you know lawn care is not an easy task and when i say that guys i say it in as a business owner, as an employee, even, you know, just in general, it's not easy work. It's not easy business. It's not even an easy lifestyle. The lifestyle is not always easy. It will test you, man, and 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 pull your last nerve. But it it it, it defines you at the end if you're going to make it or not. But if you get through it, which you can, and you survive it and get through the bad days, the good days will pay off all of it and make it worth your while. I've made a video about this where I said, can you make a living in lawn care and, and be successful at it? And, and I, the answer is yes, yes, you can. But it's just like any other job. It's just like any other business. It's just like any other crap that comes with it. You got to get through it. And at the end, it's all worth it. All worth it, my ninjas. All of it. So, you know, I want those of you out there. Today was a very stressful day for me. I'm so behind uh, again. and But I got my trailer fixed, so I try to look at the positive. It cost me like freaking 300 something dollars. Uh, that's including brand new wheels and tires. So that, you know, uh, that was the most expensive part, honestly. They did not charge me at all that much for grinding and new uh, new hub and the labor and new bearings and greasing everything. They did not charge me much for that. Um, and it's not about the money, guys. I'm just saying, like, it cost me money. I didn't make really any money today. Uh, call pay the guys, you know, pay that. I, I'm in the negative today. But... You can make it and you can get through it. And if you get through the bad days, the good days will come. And you can make a great living in the lawn care 
industry and, and, and a career. If you really love it and you really enjoy, you can do this. I love what I do. It's one of the reasons I always tell myself that I am successful. It's because I love what I do. This is my passion. I love cutting grass. I love mowing. I love different mowers, right? Different, I look at them as toys because they're, to me, they're just, they're fun. They're dangerous, you gotta be careful, of course, but they're fun. And so, to me, if you're, pl if you're having fun every day at what you do, man, you're not even working. <laughs> so just get through the tough days, you will have them, but at the end, it'll pay off and it'll be worthwhile for everything. Um, you know, guys, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not rich. I'm not where I want to be. Uh, I know some of the comments, even on some of the old videos, you know, people would say you're balling and there's, no, but I'm working hard, but I'm having fun what I do. I love it. And that's just, that is priceless to me. And you guys out there who are thinking about starting this, starting it, or just got into it, don't quit. You'll find your niche. You'll find if if you truly enjoy this, it'll go. It'll it'll work out for you, and you will make it. And when you make it, you'll you'll look back and laugh and go, "Huh, wow, what the heck I went through." But look at me now. So, you know, you're gonna have your good days. And today was definitely not one of them. You're gonna have your bad days, and today was definitely one of them. But it's all worth it. It's all worth it, my ninjas. You gotta just grind through it. Grind through it. But I'm gonna go outside, show you the trailer, show you the car, and uh, really just conclude this video. It's gonna be a nice, sweet, and short one, so. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day and I'll get some good footage of us taking care of business like we normally do. Like normal. Oh, and the whole thing with Buddy. Of course, guys. Come on. It's It, it was a joke. Come on. It was fun. It was just fun. Why? Because we found a freaking store that said Buddy Shoe <laughs> Repair and we couldn't believe it. So, anyway, it was just fun. But, all right. Let's go look at the trailer, the rims, the tires, the bearings, or the spindle. You'll see everything is nice and shiny on that one. And uh, the car. And that's it, guys. That's all I got to... That's all I got for today. Thanks, my ninjas. Come on. Let's go look what's outside. All right, guys. I am outside. I ran over something. Mud and who knows what. Look at these tires on uh, Tiny. Uh, I don't know dust. I think like I went I drove through somewhere where there was like water mixture with cement and I think I don't know But it washes off you can tell it's just dirty but Here is The brand new tire and rim brand new hub brand new Lug nuts all this stuff brand new like it's a done deal and this is uh with the rim how much it cost me 89.95 and that's the old one of course but it's good um but i don't know if you guys remember these were bigger these were like 15s and these were 14s so i was there i decided to get uh 14s on these as well so now they're all even as you can see 205 75 14 but it's done and i'm super happy and the number one thing is safety guys knowing that this is safe right now and it's done right all right now obviously we didn't mess with this spindle or anything but i got a new rim and a new tire so there you have it all right here's the card that i will be giving away once I pass the 10,000 mark on the subscribers. Check it out.
Well, there it is, my ninjas. That is the car that I'm giving away. It is a Nissan Altima. It's a great car. Um, <clears throat> needs a couple of touch-ups, which Mickey will come into play in that one. For example, I'm gonna ask him about this little front right here. And the biggest concern that I noticed right here. And uh, from what I showed him, he said it should be not much to fix at all. Uh, but again, I don't know what it will require or not. It actually, he gave me a price and uh, I thought it was a fair price, but it was definitely like, whoa, but it makes sense. And then when I said that I'm giving this away, that's when he wanted to contribute towards it. So he's not gonna be charging me for that. He wants to just, his way of just giving back as well, a little, and he really liked the idea. So that's, that's what we're doing, but here it is. One more time. And uh, that's the car I'm giving away. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys since I didn't get a chance to record today. That's the car. There's the 2014. That's the car. So there you have it. That's it, my ninjas. I think it'll, uh, it'll be really good for someone who really needs it. And it's a great car. It's, uh, it works great. AC, heat, power windows, power locks, everything works. It's, it's a great car. It runs great. <clears throat> it's a good car so there you have it that is it and I am gonna go ahead and conclude this oh yeah here's here's my Benz that is the green Honda I have now if I don't sell that <laughs> by maybe next giveaway maybe like 20,000 if I don't sell it by then then that would probably be the next car I would be giving away but don't hold me to that just yet because it probably it might be gone by then but I don't know I don't need it it's just sitting and it works great and that's a five-speed so we'll see and there's the 93 that's my baby over there too and that's of course the dump trailer we use and this is my you guys saw this the other day when we were at Justino over there this is my Mercedes right here and it is the C300 and of course you guys know the Beamer that bad boy is staying cool in the house staying cool <laughs> and that's the 535i so oh check out the check out the sticker my ninjas check out the sticker Ninja baby on board. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys. Freaking hot out here. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.